What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video, and today we're going to be talking about Rajon Rondo, who has been in the NBA for a very long time. We all know he's played for a lot of teams, obviously most notably the Boston Celtics, but he's also played for like the Lakers, which I, thought, I think a lot of people remember, uh, the Hawks last season, and the Clippers, and he this offseason got traded to the Memphis Grizzlies in a deal including Daniel Toro, Patrick Beverly for Eric Bledsoe. So we all know what Rajon Rondo is one of the final players that's like a true point guard left in the NBA, where he's a pass first point guard, um, similar to like a John Stockton. And that is a very valuable piece in the NBA, especially for a team like the Lakers. That is really what they are looking for with their one of their final three roster spots, which we know they are saving one of those roster spots uh, for the buyout market, which I guess Rajon Rondo could be part of the buyout market or somebody like Kevin Love, it could be as well. Now, if we uh, talk about all the teams Rajon Rondo's played for, it's been like the Boston Celtics, the Chicago Bulls, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Dallas Mavericks, now the Memphis Grizzlies, the Clippers, the Lakers, the Hawks, like a ton of other teams that I probably forgot some. I'm not sure. I don't. I can't really think of any more, but Rajon Rondo has been in the NBA for a long, long time. He is has an NBA Hall of Fame level career, multiple time all-star. So he definitely could make the Hall of Fame. He's going to be pretty dang close if he doesn't. Probably not first ballot, but he's a very, very good player in NBA history and definitely will be remembered. Like, I like, look at this. I didn't even know he could dunk. Like, sorry if this uh, got copyrighted so you guys can't even see this, but I did not know he could dunk like that. It was pretty impressive. Oh, the Kings. I also forgot the Kings. Um, uh, so yeah, he's... He's had some ups and downs for sure. Like when he was on the Hawks, he wasn't very good. As well as like the Clippers, he wasn't great. With the Lakers last season, he or well, two seasons ago now, he was pretty impressive. Helped him win a championship. He's won two championships throughout his career. One at the Celtics, one at the Lakers. The Celtics in 08, I believe. Yeah, I think it was 08. So yeah, you can tell he's been around for a while and been at a high level for a long time. If he was in 08 a starter on a championship caliber team or no a championship team not a championship caliber team even though i guess technically they were a championship caliber team and then uh just two seasons ago with the lakers he was also on a championship team where he was like the backup point guard behind lebron james but um ended up being like a, one of the top four most important people on that team behind like mm, behind lebron obviously uh anthony davis and then who else like I, I don't know dwight howard was really important but I, I don't know rondo's up there oh kcp as well kcp was very important but it's just really cool that rajon rondo's made it this long in the league and now reportedly the grizzlies are probably not going to have him next season and it's been said that since the grizzlies traded patrick beverly for Jarrett culver and juan toscano anderson that they probably won't keep Rajon Rondo, like the deal where they traded Eric Bledsoe, basically just got him Jarrett Culver. Like that's the main thing in the deal. They have too many players on their roster already. I believe it's like 17 players on their roster. So they are gonna have to waive at least two players, which I know you could say, well, they could waive uh, a Toro and Juan Toscano, and or not Juan Toscano Anderson. Did I say that? I meant uh, Willie or Juan Hernan Gomez. Juan Hernan Gomez, they could waive him. Um, but it seems like Rajon Rondo will be one of the players that is not on the roster when next season starts. Now, whether that's in a trade, which I don't know how much trade value he has by himself with somebody else. Yeah, maybe he does have some trade value, um, like in a package deal, but he doesn't have a veteran minimum contract. He is what, like $4 million a year, something like that. So that's why he left the Lakers is to go get a little bit more money with the Hawks be a backup to Trey Young and just be a veteran guy and then the Clippers were trying to go after him in the offseason as well and really wanted him but then the Hawks ended up grabbing him um, in free agency because they paid him a little bit more um, and then once he was on the Hawks it just kind of felt like he was going to end up on the Clippers like the Clippers were trying to trade for him and then at the deadline they traded Lou Williams for him and that was just a bad trade like let's be honest that was just a bad trade for the Clippers Rajon Rondo wasn't even that good for them, and Lou Williams was very good for the Hawks, 
maybe he even won them a game in the playoffs because Lou Williams went off in one of the games uh, with the Atlanta Hawks and the Hawks ended up going to the conference finals. I guess the Clippers did as well. So it's kind of even, but um, the Hawks weren't supposed to make it that far and the Clippers kind of were. So yeah, like that. I, I don't know. It was just a bad trade. And then they traded away Patrick Beverly. So for the Clippers, I don't like the moves they've really done because like they're trading away like their whole grit and grind thing with like Lou Williams is gone. Patrick Beverly is gone. Uh, Montrezl Harrell's already left. It just feels like that old team that took the Warriors to six games in the first round, I think, or in the second round, somewhere around there where they like legitimately looked like they could beat the Warriors in 2019, which was just crazy to think that team is completely gone. So that's really too bad. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't really know how I feel about that. I don't think that the Clippers are going to be title contenders. I know there's going to be people out there that are like, oh, the Clippers are still title contenders because Kawhi is going to come back in the playoffs. Guys, let's be honest, Kawhi Leonard's going to have missed nearly a year of basketball by that point. Um, so he probably won't just go straight out of the gate scoring 25, 27 points a game anywhere around there. Um, and who knows if this Clippers team like even is a high seed. They'll probably make the playoffs. Like I think we all assume they'll make the playoffs, but they're probably going to be around like a five or a six seed in my opinion, because their best players now are like Paul George and Eric Bledsoe or Zubak or I don't know. They still have a very deep team, but they just don't have that second star anymore. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know totally how this team's going to go. Maybe Terrence Mann takes another step. I feel like this is a very good situation for Terrence Mann because he will have um, he will have more spotlight because I know that the Clippers have a lot of wings with like Marcus Morris and uh, who's that dude? Who's that dude? Who's that, the Hornets dude? What's his name? Nicholas Batum and um, many others, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, all these guys. Luke Kennard, so he will get more playing time, Terrence Mann will, and we saw him in the playoffs really go off, um, I just wanted to point this out, I can't believe how much Rajon Rondo's dunked, and I've like literally never seen him dunk before, pretty dang impressive, he's a good dunker, uh, just did not know that, so I think Terrence, Terrence Mann could definitely take a big step, I don't know really how this has turned into a Clippers video, so it should be a Lakers video, but it's really not, so I, I, don't, I don't totally know, but I'm just excited for um, the opportunity for Terrence Mann. I think he looks like a future star, but I don't know if he completely will be a future star. I think he might just be a very good role player in the future that maybe is just like an above average role player um, that can go out there and get you buckets. So uh, the Clippers do have a bright spot there, but I don't think this Clippers team, how it's constructed, is going to win a championship. So you just maybe remember that. And for the Lakers, if they are able to get Rajon Rondo, that is a huge steal in my opinion. I really, really like that for the Lakers. And I think that he will be like their third string point guard behind Kendrick Nunn, behind um, Russell Westbrook. Also, LeBron will handle the ball at times. And even Taylor Horton Tucker will handle the ball at times. But he still will be very, very important. But that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all, and I'll see you guys all later in the next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching.